I would describe the dynamic, Johnny's dynamic, as his dad raised him almost too well. Because it's not neglect at all. It's his dad just put so much into him, kind of, that Johnny just became this alpha dog. And he's just so much more equipped to deal with everything. And at the same time, that made him a little heady because he had so much power and he thought he was, you know, running it so much. You know, so that's the kind of the interesting thing. It's not it's not at all that, you know, he was neglected or anything like that. If anything, it was he was, you know, just almost given too much confidence, too much of the alpha dog. Um, you know, because, you know, uh, Sonny's is the, the ultimate alpha dog to to Johnny. Nick's an awesome director. Uh, I'd say he's probably the best actor's director I've ever worked with. He just, he knows, you know, how to get to you and how to, how to work with you and how to really get what he wants and take the scene in a good direction. Um, and he's very decisive, you know, he knows what he wants, but he's also open to experimenting and he's just very creative and intelligent and um you know those are really great qualities and he's just such a sharp mind and and uh you know such a caring person at the same time you know justin's a great guy um, totally just talented in all ways you know just a great a great dude i'm really surprised by his performance i mean he's really stepped up in a pretty big way, you know? I mean, we're, I just consider him just, you know, one of the actors, you know? I've really just completely forgotten about, you know, Justin, the musician, you know? And he's just, he's just a really, really great guy, you know? I mean, you'd think with, like, that level of fame or something, someone could be heady, but he's just so, such a down-to-earth guy, you know? Just a really, like, caring guy. It's pretty cool. Basically, um, these guys are kind of going about their normal tough guy routine lives when it's all kind of turned upside down by this strange series of events that was kind of just spur of the moment, you know? We're driving down the side of the road. We see this guy who we don't like, his kid brother, who we've been looking for, and we're like, just grab him, just grab him. We jump him, we put him in the van, and then we kind of sit on him for a while. We just don't know what's going on, and then we gradually realize if we turn him in, we'll go to jail for kidnapping. And we're like, well, wait a minute, we, wait, let's just think this through. We don't want to go to jail. And then the days go by, and uh, I talk to a lawyer, and, you know, he says I could go to jail for maybe life. And we could. And, and you know, we're a little paranoid, and we're really scared. And at the end of the day, you know, we're just kids who don't want to go to jail. So, you know, we kind of make the choice to... Uh, to get rid of the kid.